The video is great. What you talking about? Print any of those pods yet? No, I was going to make sure it actually didn't break when you crashed it first. <laughs> Here is the first Shark Bite HD Zero quad in town built up by joe mama but we're gonna do a little bit of testing here at the night spot you see i actually do have my switchback hd right here as you can see but this is meant for a more traditional race course and i don't know about sending this thing on concrete but we are gonna test with the open racer which you can see joe mama has added all of his tpu accessories out on the edges of the arm and we're using our special hd pod that yvonne designed up for us to be able to fit the board in there we're gonna do a little analog versus hd zero testing tonight and see how it ends up so hopefully i can put my best foot forward and represent the anal ogs out there and let's see how this heavier but hopefully clearer hd zero quad looks at the night spot here we have the hd zero vtx and the hd zero camera identical to the run cam mippy dji camera it's the same lens the same case the only difference is this backing right here which has the connector now you do at least at this time have to buy these separately uh, we were accidentally sent some of these short cables so be sure when you receive your order if you did pay for these that you got the right length i don't think this is going to work for any of our builds i'm not really sure what you would use such a short cable for maybe i could use this as a twist tie to keep my bread uh, fresh but since I'm on keto I haven't eaten bread in almost two years uh, this is not of much use to me if you are a bread eater and you need an extra twist tie to keep that bread fresh uh, leave me a comment below and we'll see if I can get one of these out to you the HD zero VTX is a bit large compared to a 2020 flight controller you can see that it is bigger on all sides so keep that in mind as you are building up and selecting your frame so here is the reaper giant esc here is the hd zero here is a standard 20 by 20 flight controller here is the hobby wing 20 by 20 esc so it's pretty much almost identical in size to the hobby wing Mine did come with some cables and gummies. I have seen a few people that were missing this stuff, uh, so keep in mind if you have that, double check it. The lens on the uh, HD Zero camera is very, very short. Now it's notable that many people were flying HD Zero at MultiGP Championships, and Evan Turner, now three-time MultiGP Champion and two-time DRL champion was using the system when he got his win just a couple of weeks ago so i think it's pretty much guaranteed fresh in a typical racing environment where you don't have any obstructions and the range that you're flying is very small in those environments you can safely fly it on 25 milliwatts like we do for racing but i wanted to show you a little bit of what you can expect outside of that perfect ideal scenario we at the night spot what we got going on yeah, let's the get sam bite. on the shark bite get his first impression joe's flown about yeah. 10 12 packs already on shark bite tonight oh, joe geez. built up a full-on open racer though so he's got all the protection and he sent it for a couple of hard crashes already and it's still kicking what do you think compared to your analog bar are you comfortable yet not quite comfortable yet not not as comfortable as my analog it's just because of the breakup it's like we we're talking about a second ago it's a little bit different you can't see through it it's just completely dead pixels so it's harder to be as confident in a bad environment like this with it yeah so open people that fly in an open field racing um i think you'll have no problems at all the image is actually a lot better than i thought it was going to be uh, I got my own shark bite set up, so I've been watching Joe's DVR. He has the new HD Zero VTX and the new HD Zero camera and the special lens on here. And the image is really good. Uh, the low light performance is amazing. Looking into the sky, you can see the clouds almost as clear as if it was day. It's real, real good. Yeah, like if, a, if without the breakup, I almost look like feel like I'm looking at DJI it's it's very very clear yeah. uh, the DVRs that you see don't do it compared to what you see in the sky zone goggles with the VRX the DVRs, on there yeah. it's really <laughs> really nice looking but there's two or three spots on the track 
where the breakup is a little scary and it's harder to fly through than analog you yeah think? yeah it's a, well it, i don't know if it's harder to fly through i think it is personally but it might just be that i'm not used to that kind of breakup yet and it might just take some time yeah maybe we'll get used to yeah. it but uh that's why i was trying to push it keep going pack after pack he's moving pack. fast though that last one it feels like he's close to as fast as he usually is because a lot of times he's about just a half second in front of me and he's doing that. I was wondering if I was gonna stay in front of him when he was on shark bite, but after 10, 12 packs, yeah, he's finding moving. out where the bad breakup spots are and where I can back off a little bit and then still catch up in time. Because I'm really backing off back here where there's where yeah, it's really bad. The sketchiest yeah. parts. Because I'm going straight towards the building when it starts to get bad and then I'm cutting around that pole. So going straight towards that building with that much breakup just makes me nervous. Let's go over the cost though. This is $70. This is $50, this is $12, then you gotta add an antenna for about 20 bucks. So by the time you get all of this added up, you're looking at $162 for your video system, which is right about the exact same price as DJI. So if you're thinking that SharkBite is gonna be a cheaper option than DJI, it is not. You really wanna race. Uh, it does play with the timing system. Uh, better it does have lower and fixed latency than DJI so there are some advantages there but again the penetration is very very weak I think that this system is primarily going to be for racers so if you're not a racer you really need to look at the penetration and range that this system is going to have especially since this setup right here the max is 200 milliwatts this is my controller this is his controller his sticks my sticks oh, yeah. it's all good though I'm just cruising around all right, shark bite, here we go. Nice and smooth. Ooh, them rates is a lot different. Never disarm. <laughs> My bad. Racing three. I'm sorry. You good, you hey, good. what's that rule? Hey, what's that rule you taught me? Never disarm? Yeah. It's the race, Joe. You know, that's how I fly fast race. I'm just cruising around. Just, you know, it's the race. That's all. Wow. The video is great. What you talking about? Perfect. Oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Never yeah. mind. Wait, wait now. Wait till you get the real old shit. Wait a minute. The real old shit's back here. Alright, cruising along. He is your own shit. Cruising along. Yeah. Eh? Eh? I don't know. Kinda I don't know. It wasn't that no. bad. It wasn't no. that bad. bad for me back there. Back, it was more bad on the uh, okay. I'm getting the rates down now. Let's do this. Yeah, let's do this. Yeah, oh wow. Okay. Yeah, there's a little bit when you go upside down right there. For okay, some the only okay, so the only breakup I see real bad is back there at the back split us. It was hit a bush, <laughs> I hit a tree, I had, to get, ground. I had to get used you to the rates. Off the ground, I saw it. Oh, but hey, right? never disarm. That's what that's how I ended up in the tree, sir. Like, man, I mean, the picture, the picture for up. here at the night spot, I felt like was pretty cool. It was great. I mean, I liked it. Now, the breakup, I didn't enjoy, but the picture was good. I feel like it was to me, it was more brighter without all that contrast. You know, because normally I got to give a lot of contrast and less bright and less brightness with the brighter. So, I mean, you know, it was a difference and I could see it. And I was more comfortable going around like certain things that I kind of hesitate going around on analog. So okay. there is a difference. So I will say that. Different yeah. parts are better. Different yeah, because I was able to take this tree over here a lot tighter yeah. than I would normally take it with analog, honestly. Yeah. And, I, and, and it felt pretty cool. Other than the breakup, it was a nice ride. Yes, sir, we got Mr. Matt, Matt going, going up. up. With the no, 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 wrong uh, one. This is arm right here. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, man. This reminds me of playing Duke Nukem in the, in the 90s. <laughs> it's like, there's like a lot of detail, but it's also very pixelated. But it's nice. It feels really good. There's no, uh, I don't. It's about the yeah. same as DJI 25, to be honest. Like, like Johnny was saying a second ago. Yeah. That's it. Other like, than the breakup, that's a pretty yeah. good assessment. Just DJI yeah. 25 megabit. Yeah, it's nice. Man, when you fly this on a bright day, yeah, it will be yeah, spectacular. Yeah, when I'm flying yeah. early today in the middle of the day, oh, yeah. it looks like great. Yeah. You can actually like look at stuff. 
that's what I would cool. do. Yeah, yeah, you could, you know, fly around me like, yeah, that's oh. how I felt when I first started flying DJI. Especially 50 yeah, megabits, I get like, distracted wow. just like looking at shit. Like, wow, I can actually see the detail on that fucking yeah. tree. Yeah. You forget that I'm fucking flying and like, yeah. oh, well, this video is gonna be shit. So, uh, yeah. I think that's why we started racing because there was nothing to see. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Right, okay, there we go. I got carried away. There we go. As he continues crashing. Sorry. 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 <laughs> I have a reputation for burning shark shark wise. So what do you think, Matt? Yeah, it's it's fun. It's it's fun. It's definitely worth building it, and it's it's definitely something you gotta gotta fly and experience. But on the bright day, on the track, open track, this would be killer. So you're gonna be building something. Oh yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah. You are. I, I need a four by three camera though. So yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's still a big, a big one for us. Already. Did you get one too? Did you get the module? No, not yet. Yeah. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm gonna let everybody else try it first. And uh, you know, I think I may already order the module just to have it so I can watch people and stuff. And then I mean, you know, eventually we'll see what happens with it. You know what I mean? I enjoyed that. I was, I was more confident and I could see. Okay, Joe managed to take the front element <laughs> off of this lens. And it Not even hit. crack it. Not yeah, even it's clean still off. good. The camera's oh, still good. He was able to fly back just like heads up. Everybody knows you put a big lens, it's going to look nicer, but more of a risk if you smash it. That's why you bring spare quads. That's right. <laughs> <laughs>